Charleston, you know, I joined the Navy, whatever, get away from doing the drugs, whatever, I got stationed here in Charleston, and uh, met some good people that played and sang, and we sit around my friend Dan and Trina's house up in North Charleston, and just drink beer, and play acoustic guitars, and sing songs, and like, my friends convinced me to join with what was called the Charleston Acoustic Playoffs back in the day, and I signed up for that, and I took third place, and realized I was going to Right then and there, I quit the Navy and uh, didn't really quit, just requested to get out early. And you know, I did, and I've been playing music ever since. I met Edward McCain the first night I played, and he was really he was, he was really nice and, like, you know, had, had a lot of advice. He was already pretty successful in, like, that first acoustic playoffs. I got third place in the solo competition. He actually had third place in the group competition. But also, I met someone who, even more importantly, got me really involved in the local music scene was a guy named Hawk Morphy. Anybody who played music here in the 90s, probably Hawk got on their first gig. That's just the way uh, he, he passed away a while back, but uh, you know, the early, early 2000s. But he was a good friend, good guy, like pretty much got, like I said, anybody, whatever band he played with, he played with Big Stoner Creek and a few different bands. And like, he, he'd have a gig, there'd always be some random musician show up, and the, the band would be like, Who are you? And, like, they'd just be like, Oh, Hawk called me to come out. And they'd be like, oh, All right. Like, so Hawk would just invite people to come out and play. and. Uh, you know, he was just, you know, I remember my first gig was with Hawk and uh, Hawk Morphy, Jesse Pritchard, and a guy named Chris Erberland playing drums. And like, we played at the place called the Chef and Clef. And now I can't, what, what do you call it, Mitchell's now or something on King, on, uh, on the market. But um, I lived on the third floor and we, we played this gig and you know, we made like 40 bucks. I never imagined I could play music for a living and like, Everybody around here was just so encouraging, like, you know, you can do this. Like, everybody, we're all doing this. Like, I met all these musicians around Charleston. <laughs> like, this is all we do. We don't, wanna, we don't have jobs. We don't wanna, we play, you know, we play our instruments and we have fun. Right? 